Hey, what's up guys? Root of the Null here, bringing you some more Python tutorials. Uh, this is actually your 13th tutorial, so give yourself a good pat on the back for coming this far. And uh, let's get started. I'm going to fire up idle. You can do the same. I'll drag it over here so you guys can see it. And let's get to programming. Uh, today we're going to be finishing up this little uh, function mini-series for the moment. We've actually still got a lot to cover, but hey, uh, we're going to knock it down one by one as always. And, uh, yeah, today we're going to check out the return keyword. The return keyword is what's going to allow you to bring your variables and your data back and forth between scopes. Like, when you pass in a variable to a function, that's bringing it into that scope, and then we have to manipulate it from the function and bring it back out to the regular scope, like the global scope. So, I'm going to get started with my shebang line, environment python. I'm going to save this as, uh file.python as always let's uh, let's overwrite that and let's get ready to roll so here we go let's define it actually let's okay this is the global scope give ourselves a little bit of a notification of what is going on and here we go now I want to print that's not so what I want to do, I want to define a new function. Let's call this uh, add. Let's make something really simple first off. Let's get some variables here. Let's going to set a is equal to zero by default and b is equal to zero by default. So in case the user, in case the programmer decides not to add anything, it'll just return zero. So yeah, this is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to use the return keyword and then a plus b. There. That's kind of simple. So now if we print out, let's see, uh, add 10 and 20. This is kind of a terrible example, but it's it's so simple it's almost embarrassing. This is the global scope, and then we get 30. That's good, that's good. So, uh, because we're doing that in the print function, though, that's the only way it's going to be seen. Because add is only returning the variable, you're not going to see it during runtime, it's just displaying it out. We could set up a new variable here, like we could just set up uh, maybe sum is equal to... That's, that's a keyword, I don't want to use that. Um... Addition equals add. So now we can print out addition. And then uh, let's run that, and we get 30. Now the way this works is because you're using addition and setting it to the value that comes from out comes out of using the add function it's kind of like we, like what we were doing before with our get info function and let's, let's in fact let's use that for a little bit i'll comment out these here and let's define that get info function that we've been using so much in the last in the last tutorial i don't i'm not going to give it any arguments this time but we're still going to use user input equals raw input uh what should we say and I won't bother with names or anything just like that. But outcome can equal uh, says, and then add user input. So there we go. I'll bring outcome right back out of that function so we can work with it later on if we need to. And see, user input is going to get the value of raw input. And like I said this so many times before, when you type in a value that's going to be returned and brought to user input. So that way outcome is going to equal the concatenation of says and user input, and then we can return that outcome. So if we just do, uh, let's see, fine. No, we don't need a new function. We just need print get info. So we're going to run the get info function, and we're going to get asked for the input, and then what we what is displayed is going to be that outcome that we've just got from after reading that information. So if we run this, it's got to be safe, but that's fine. This is the global scope. Okay, that's at the top. We don't have to worry about that. We got add, but we don't have to worry about that. And then we're just go straight into uh, we're going to go straight into get info. What should we say? Um, let's say, how about that stove? And then it's going to say, says, how about that stove? But the thing is, we're not saying, we're not telling it to output that inside the function. It's going out of the function and into the print function right here. It's reversing the scope almost. And that's all the return keyword really does, is it'll bring it outside. So now that you know all these between the return keyword, the default parameters, the multiple parameters, how a function works, why you should use them, why they work the way they do, and that sort of thing, you'll be able to understand more of the functions that are in Python's language, and you can actually move into the keywords and the terminology, the syntax, and more structural things, structural logic that you'll be able to work with. And uh, that was kind of the goal with this sort of mini-series. 
So for now, you guys are set, and we are going to be able to move into some more interesting stuff. So thank you for sticking with me, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.